Hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, and Dino too. And today we're going to do a quick one for the High Desert Pioneer. Go check out his channel. Usually he has an evening or early morning live stream. Very good. And also for our friend Just in Time Prepping. So check out his channel and his live stream. And he usually has it already posted, so stop on by. And hopefully, I think Virginia gets her act together. She might put out a live stream. Uncle Alan's not going to do a live stream for a while because Uncle Alan's not that great. And Uncle Alan's kind of tired. Now, in her earlier live stream, High Desert Pioneer was talking about measuring cups or teaspoons. You should have one, two cup measuring cup. And also, you should have a shot glass. This is a measuring shot glass. And if you look at it, it covers all the way up to about eight tablespoons and tells you about milliliters, ounces, and teaspoons. So you should have one of these. Nice thing about this is if you have something in your eye, you can't take it out, you can fill it up with water and go like this and flush it out. Again, measuring, see that, measuring glass, okay? You can pick these up at uh, Bar Supply. You can also pick these up at uh, grocery stores, hardware stores, almost every place. So just keep an eye out for this one. And the metal ones are called jiggers, so. Another thing is, my favorite magazine came out, The Backwoodsman, and Virginia, if you see that, there's one-handed knots that can save your life. You need to practice your rope work and your knot work. Let's put that over here. Oops. I've been working on something for food storage for just-in-time prepping, Dad on YouTube, and West Wind Survival. But first, let me recommend this old book from the 80s. It is Ragnar's Urban Survival. Okay, by Ragnar Benson. Hard times to stay alive in the city. And I used one of his checklists. And I did. I want to send the letter to Dad on YouTube. And if West Wind can email me his address, I'll send him a copy too. And uh, like I said, a lot of you also... I know Will's address, I just gotta find it. Don't go on a little dingy sometimes in the head. Um, so I'm keeping this short. I like to show you what I recommend. You know, a lot of people, Savage Survival cover this pretty good. And go please check out his channel and videos. Are these, okay? Now this is great hunting arrow. I don't like to use my expensive Broadheads, the uh, razor blades, because they're damn expensive and these are cheap. So I tell people get about 50 of them, tuck them away. You could buy them, go on Amazon, you can go through these uh, overstock, and it's, it's overstock. I'm going blind as hell. So yeah, these are overstock at yeah, Christmas overstock, and I'll get another one for July. But they have my favorites, and that was one of them. The other one, uh, let's see, is a shovel. Can't have too many entrenching tools. Now, let's see what's inside. Yeah, same thing, machete, sword, cane. Not too interested on that. I always tell everybody to have a folder of some kind. It's pretty good. Expensive, but pretty good. Now, put that away. Now, let's see. Now everybody's looking at me and everybody's doing the machete thing. Well, machete's fine, except for fighting. Good for chopping wood, good for chopping weed, bad for everything else. Now, Uncle Alan prefers a saber or a saber-like source. This kind of, I think it's a tower, I can't tell. Or a regular saber or Indian saber. I'm pretty good with the saber or short sword. Okay, now a lot of people say, Oh, Uncle Alan, you don't really need one of those. I have a 9mm. Uh, yeah, right. You should have your primitive weapons checked out. 
Now I'm trying to find something, but I guess I can't see it. Hong Kong's getting old and kind of dotty in his years, but I'm still a mean ass dinosaur. I should remember that last of this. Now a lot of you kids don't use bladed weapons. So I think I'm slowing down a bit. Could be a lag, could be your memory. Could be a lot of things. I hope it's not memory. Okay. Well anyway, nice thing about these is I'm going to like push daggers, okay? As a hideout. It's pretty good when you kidney punch somebody or put it right between the ribs. But Uncle Alan's kind of slow and kind of old, but he has a few tricks up his sleeve. Now I'm showing this, all right, and a lot of people are asking, how come a saber, Uncle Alan? And they're kind of looking at me like Uncle Alan's kind of a little nuts because you can't thrust with a machete. Machete is designed for chopping motion, not a stabbing motion. Pokey pokey. I'll probably bring this back up. It's good until about January 31st. So put that over there. I want to keep this short, not too long. Shout out to Bethany, my favorite little gamer. Hubble's cat should take up fencing. Steve Foco, learn how to use a saber. Uh, See. Sandra the Strange, Hike and Keep, uh, Desert, High Desert Pioneer, this video is for you, Reverend Christine, Panhandle Preparedness and DUI, for the DIY, DIY, not DOI. Okay, Lily in the Wild. I have fun, Uncle Al. <coughs> Sorry. Uncle Al is that fun. Mother in the wild. It's a good idea to learn the, let's see, archery, either a crossbow or bow and arrow. Know the tips, like I showed you in the earlier part of this video. Uncle Alan also has another set that's armor piercing. So if you think, oh, I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, it'll stop that. Think again. I have bobbins, and bobbins screw on really good on my graphite shafts. And if you're wearing a class three without plates, well, you're going to be a pin cushion. Or let me go. <laughs> okay, Mother in the Wild. L.A. Prepper. Chris McBee. Oh, praying you for your Chris. Uh, Jordan Jakenberg for a price of a tall soda. You can send Jordan some cash through his PayPal to help him out. Again, just in time prepping. Real Russell on. Wednesday and Saturday night, check them out. And if you can't, a little cash in his PayPal account, sent, have, tell him that Uncle Alan sent you over there. Uh, the Revolting Man, Native Tears, and Savage Survivals. Please check out the channels. They're really good. Sometimes Uncle Alan tends to forget, but he mentioned primitive weapons. Uncle Alan's pretty good with Lance, Yardi, that's Japanese or one of the African type of lances or spear, Indian spear, you name it, I'm pretty good with pull arms. Second one is archery. you got to be good with archery. Now Uncle Alan's blind, so he's going to shotgun approach it. So you're the bad guy coming in and trying to kill Uncle Alan. Well, you're going to have five or six arrows. The sky is covered with hundreds of arrows, and they're going to be a pincushion. But they got an assault weapon. Guy carrying an assault weapon looking like a pincushion. Okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, plants or tree. Oh, yeah. And use of the saber or sword. All right. I think I went a little over here. So, anyway, check out those channels. This is your old pal, Uncle. And Dino, too. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Some of you can't subscribe or like to me. I don't know why, but try to like and subscribe. Uncle Alan's still in that YouTube ghetto. I'm going to be stuck at 220, 223 for the rest of my video time here because they keep taking every day one or two YouTube channels away from me. So I'm still there, like Will says. 
I've been here for a long time. I, the last time they did it, they took 500 away from me. So anyway, I'm keeping this shirt. Please check out uh, High Desert Pioneer. I'll catch you later.